It was a cold night here at Bob Turtle Smith Stadium as Maryland baseball made their fall debut against the West Virginia Mountaineers. It was certainly a tale of two halves, but Maryland's strong start earned them the 10-8 victory. The Terps offense came swinging out of the gate. The Terrapins found a way to get men on base and in scoring position after a walk and hit by pitch, and with the stolen base by Kenny Littman. With this opportunity, the Terrapins opened up the scoring, as Matt Woods and Bobby Marzak both hit doubles combining for three RBIs, giving the Terps a 3 nothing lead in the top of the first frame. The Terps cycled through pitchers fast tonight to get looks at all of their guys, but Nick Dean made the most of his opportunity, as the senior gave the Terps a great outing with his hard-earned three-strikeout second inning. The Terrapins offense picked up right with the left off, as in the second, riding on the past inning's momentum, the Terps caught fire, combining for four hits in the inning. With RBI doubles from Elijah Lambros and Ian Petrutz, as well as a beautiful RBI bunt from Matt Woods, Maryland was able to put up five runs in the second inning, building their lead to eight to nothing. From then on, West Virginia would begin to chip away at the Terrapins' lead, starting with an RBI double from J.J. Weatherholt in the third inning. Maryland's offense went blank as the Mountaineer defense stood tall, including a fiery 1-2-3 inning from junior Carlson Reed that seemed to shift the momentum of the whole game. Their offense continued to flood, led by Grant Hussey and J.J. Weatherholt's two home runs in the back-to-back -back innings. And the scoring for the Mountaineers also included two doubles. West Virginia was able to cut the lead to 9-7 after the sixth inning due to the timely hitting and star-powered pitchers. However, when it was needed the most, Maryland's defense stepped up to the plate, shutting down the Wolverines who came up to the plate. Multiple well-pitched innings, including great outings from Tommy Kane, David Falco Jr., and Kenny Littman, kept the Terrapins afloat and away from an awful choke. Great plays all around defensively, including a top 10 play from Kevin Keister, completely shut down Mountaineer hitters. Riding up great performances from multiple players, the Terps held on 10 to 8 in the first appearance in the fall. The Terps will use what they learned and saw this game to continue to build as they look forward for the upcoming season. Something Coach Rob Vaughn has preached to his players during the preseason. That's my message to these guys all the time. We're not a finished product yet. We we hopefully won't be until June. You know, my hope is we get better and better every time we go out there. So I thought we were better this week than we were last week, and we'll finish with the Fall World Series with a kind of a three-game set with our own guys this, this upcoming weekend. So let the boys get some rest these next couple days and, and get back after it. For Terrapin Sports Central, I'm Andrew McBride.